What's up, everybody? Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. It's time to do a full case break for the store, RipCityCards.com. 2017-18 Optic Basketball, 12-box full case PYT, number one. All right. And as always, good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Oh, yeah. All right. This is a full case break, which means got to put this up as soon as it decides to work for me. There we go. No. There we go. And let's see what we got here. Full case mojo, baby. Now let's work on that flawless. 20 teams left. Once the Chiefs and the Jags are gone, that should be a snap fail. Come on, folks. Here we go. Going to start off with the first box here. Full case action. Good luck, everyone. Now, if you're watching for the eBay break, that is put on pause right now. We filled this break before the eBay break. That's why we're doing this first. Uh, after I'm done with this full caser, I'm going to go ahead and do the eBay uh, half caser. All right. So uh, stay tuned and watch the greatness unfold here. Need to see some big hits here for my boy Kankleman and for Big Mike, who absolutely helped us fill this thing. My boy Justin needs some uh, Tatums for his Celtics, helping me out on that. I hope everybody gets good, something good, to be honest with you. But a few of those people got multiple teams, and I gotta say, I'm pulling for them a little bit more. I need Nicholas to get something nice for the t wolves and the Cavs. For having faith in the Cardboard Moses. But everybody needs something nice. Everybody needs something nice. This is true. A great man once said, filler teams be hitting. This is true. This is true. Tell me about it, Pappy. Tell me about it. Who's my hooping right now? Balling? Well, he's out there by himself, so he kind of needs to be balling. Let's see if we can hit a Kuzma in this. All right. I hope everybody gets something nice, especially my big spenders. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. So, move this. Got the Lonzo in there. Refractor. Of course, we'll get sleeved up. Sergi Baca, the Raptors red. That is number 299. What else? 
else? What else? What else? Michael Kidd Gilchrist of the Hornets. That's number to 199. Really? Come on now. That shininess. Did I go through this? What? Yeah, I did. Alrighty. Alec Burks of the Jazz Blue. That's number to 49. What else? What else? For the Lakers, Kobe Bryant to one seventy five. Alrighty. The auto got to come out of this one. First auto, Jawan Evans of the Clippers. So Clippers starting things off with the first rated rookie on card auto. Gonna need some bigger names though. All right, that's one box down. Abraham, get to work and heat this thing up. Super fracted would be awesome. I'm on the second box right now. Second box mojo, baby. We got Gershon Yabuselli, Celtics. That's numbered to 175. Nothing there. And this Cantor Nix to 189. Need some big hits. Come on now. Where you at? A 
Paul George, Thunder. That's numbered to 49. Where's the auto at? Where's the auto at? Got a rated rookie here. What is that? The velocity variation from what I hear? Number to 79. It looks so cool. Where the auto at? Nice. Markel Fultz of the Sixers autograph. That's a nice card. That's a nice card. James kind of predicted that you said Ben Simmons, but it, Sixers came out to play. All right, that's two boxes down so far. Heat the cases up. I'm sorry. Heat the boxes up, Abraham. Heat them up. Heat them up. President the Lakers going at it. Spurs and the Lakers in a close one. I I've always liked those Laker jerseys. The ones they got on right now, that baby blue and yellow. So clean. So fresh. So clean. I just wish that I know it's expensive, but like I wish the the you know the Jazz do it, like certain teams do it, but like whenever they change their uniforms up or whatever, like they should change the court up too. You know they could keep the yellow there for the Lakers, but change that purple to that baby blue. That would be so clean. Yeah, I, I'm kind of with you on that one, Cancun Maine, especially in the West, man. What would that what would that matchup be? I don't even know what seed. I think the Spurs right now are the fifth seed. Which means they would play the Jazz in the first round. I think the Jazz are at the four. And, uh, dude, that would be insane. I ex bro, I expect Donovan Mitchell to ball out in the playoffs. New York Knicks, Carmelo Anthony. That's number 1099. 
You think they're going to sweep? I don't know if they're going to sweep him. I mean, we're talking about Coach Pop. But I would not be surprised if it was like a gentleman sweep. You know what I mean? 5-1? I mean, 4-1? Zach Collins Blazers, number two, 199. Yeah, the Rockets and the Jazz, two completely opposite teams. Jazz are feisty. Jazz are fight. Dude, I've been saying it for a while now. This year's playoffs are going to be cray cray. Redemption, got to see who that goes to. Danilo Gallinari. That goes to 175. Clippers. Like, if the Warriors weren't hurt, I think the, the Warriors would have... I, 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 honestly, I, I don't think... That the uh, the Rockets, I really don't think the Rockets are about shit, to be honest with you. But, the, you know, if the Warriors were at 100%, the playoffs on the West would just be a formality. But they're banged up. A few other teams are banged up. Some other teams are playing out of their mind right now. Like the Jazz have are like 15-5 and five since the, since the All-Star break. Playing disgusting basketball. Donovan Mitchell playing at an All-Star level right now. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. You know, they got shooters out there. What the hell is this? A one out of five Steph Curry for the Warriors. That is cr That's why I have no faith in the Rockets, Kanko Main. James Harden straight up quit in last year's playoffs. They straight up quit. That's why I have no faith in the Rockets. Steve Curry, one of five. That is disgusting for the Warriors. That's why. And listen, as far as the Ro the Rockets are concerned, they had a great regular season. James Harden, MVP caliber season. But look at the players on that team. With the exception of Trevor Ariza, that's won championships. Chris Paul, I hate to say it, love him as a player. He just does not win. He's not a winner, okay? James Harden, also not a winner. Doesn't, doesn't even bother to play defense. You cannot win like that in the playoffs. Anyways, redemption for Jordan Bell. Rated rookie signature. That goes to the Warriors. Both the East and the West are wide open, in my opinion. Uh, what do we have? Jordan Bell goes to the Warriors. Redemption Auto. Let's see what's in this box. Box number three. I'm sorry, this is box number four. You know what's funny about those Suns teams, though, Kanko Main? They just kept running into a buzzsaw every year. They kept running into the, the Spurs every year. That one year that they could have won, what did the Spurs do? They knocked out Stephen Nash. But you can't win. You can't win with that kind of play style. You got you have to play defense. You have to play defense. Uh Jeff, I'm doing a full case break right now of Donruss Optic Basketball. The half case break for eBay will be done right after this. I see a black in there. Oh boy. Another thing about the playoffs is you can't, you know, Dan Tony's. The thing about Dan Tony's system, it's it's a quick trigger offense. Pick and roll, pick and roll, screen, screen, dish to the open man, 
get to the bucket, shoot the three, you know, the trailer, hitting the three, blah, blah, blah. Always get out, of, get out of transition. You know what I mean? Like, that's the Dan Tony system. Get out and run. Up and down all day. They don't play defense. Not only that, but like in the playoffs, you can't do all that run and gun shit because they slow the game. Like the game slows down. The game slows down. Every possession counts. You know, it's and it's not like you're playing a different team. You know, you you're you're in, it's a series. So the first game, ah, oh, you're filling each other out. Maybe the same for, for game two. And you know what they say. It doesn't become a series until the home team loses. So I'm of the opinion that in a seven game series, the best team always wins. Of course, there's exceptions. Like if there's an injury or something like that. You know what I mean? But for the most part, injuries aside, in a seven game series, the best team always wins. Yeah, dude's 32 and 38 career playoff record. That's, that's insane. That's terrible. To be considered one of the best coaches and, and that's what you do? Yeah, no. I agree, Kango Man. Innovative, sexy offense? Hell yeah. Defense? He don't even bother to... He doesn't even coach defense. I mean, James Harden, he's even come out and said it this year in, 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 in interviews. He's like, oh, I love the D'Antoni system. I'm having, you know, my best year ever. Boom. Like, he tells me, don't even bother playing defense. Like, straight up. Like, the coach straight up tells his best player, don't bother playing defense because Clint Capella, Trevor Ariza, and them boys will help pick up the slack. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, game. Eric Gordon of the Rockets, that's to 199. Like, this guy, he's balling out of his mind, too. You know, I love CP3 as a player. He's like that prototypical point guard. But I, I say the same thing about Kyrie Irving. The guy's a loser, man. The guy is a, like, and what I, what I mean by loser is he doesn't win. He doesn't win the big games. He just does not. He's, he's not a leader of men. It's, I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is about CP3. I don't think he's ever gotten out of the second round. Uh, Nicholas Batum, Hornets to 49. What else we got here? This kid is going to fuck shit up in the playoffs. I'm calling you right now. Donovan Mitchell is going to average like 30 points in the playoffs. How far is he going to go in the playoffs? I don't know. But I think he's going to bump his average up at least five points. 25, 30 points a game, balling. Yeah, CP3's never gone out of the second round, right? Carmelo Anthony of the Knicks to 175. I feel the same way about CP3. Though That's the same way. I, I, although, I will say, CP3 is a way more complete player than Kyrie Irving will ever be. Oh, okay, I can't really say that. Kyrie Irving is a great point guard, but he's a loser. I mean, look what he's doing now. He's sitting on the bench. I know he's hurt or whatever. His entire career, he's been hurt. LeBron went to the Cleveland uh, Cavaliers, and then he finally started winning. He got a little taste of that. And then he figured, oh, I could do this by myself. Went to a really good team, but I, I really I haven't seen anything from him. I really haven't. This is disgusting. These is the black variation. What do you what do you call that again? The uh, the velocity. Eric Bledsoe Bucks. Number to thirty nine out of thirty nine. That's sick. You pl playoff LeBron is a whole nother beast. But Kanko man, I gotta tell you, bro. Since we're talking East Coast now. You know who they would play if the play if the playoffs started tomorrow? You know who's playing uh the Cavs? The Heat, dog. 
and I got the Heat in that in that matchup in six games. If the Heat end up playing the Cavaliers head to head, that I, I got the Heat in six. Nothing about the Cavaliers team, with the exception of LeBron, scares me. Thomas Bryant to one seventy five for the Lakers. The Heat are one of those teams that that teams really just do not want to see in the playoffs. Kenny Skywalker, the old school autograph there for the Knicks. Like, there's a few teams that I, that I would legit tell you I'm scared of in the East. The the Pacers? Because Oladipo's been playing at an MVP level all year. The Pacers got a really good squad. And the, the fucking the Sixers, bro. The Sixers legitimately scare me. I was going to say, man, the Pacers are deep. The Pacers are deep. They could easily play a, t a, a nine, ten man rotation. Easy. No problem. I think that's what they're doing now. The Sixers are another low-key deep, deep team that nobody's talking about. They just got Markel Fultz back. He's been he's been doing his, his thing, averaging like 10 points or whatever. And they got fucking Ben Simmons, man. That guy has the potential to be LeBron 2.0. In the East, that's the one team I would be afraid to play. The Sixers. Raptors ain't about shit. Wizards ain't about shit. The Cavaliers, I give respect where respect is due. You know, and they got LeBron. No other team in the East scares me. Just the Sixers, really. Sixers and Pacers scare me. And the Pacers, not so much. Sixers, fuck yeah. And depending on how the seedings go, who knows, man. The Sixers might even make it to the conference final. Crazy to think. But it's, it, could, it could happen. West Coast is wide open too, man. I, I, I think out there on the West Coast... My sleeper teams are the Jazz, and you ready for this one? The Blazers. I think Dame, like Dame Dalla takes it up another notch in the playoffs. And I would say the Thunder, but Carmelo Anthony has been an atrocity in the entire year. Paul George can't seem to buy a bucket right now. Russell Westbrook is Russell Westbrook. Right now, the Thunder got a 1-2 punch. They got Russell Westbrook and Steven Adams. Oh, Dame fucked his ankle up? Oh, damn. I thought he was just like... I thought he like rolled it out. I know he's been out for a little minute. For like the last week or two, he's been out. I'm sorry, two-card arsenal. I, 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 I don't think the Rockets are going to go far. Matter of fact, what's the matchup right now? What's the one and eight seed? Oh, really, Kanko Man? Oh, well, there goes that sleeper team. But I still stand by my Jazz. They're not my, they're not my Jazz, but I still stand by the Jazz. What are the, what are the seeds right now on the West Coast? It would be what Rockets against the Timberwolves. Is that is that what I'm is that what I'm thinking? Would it be Rockets and Timberwolves? That's that's a defensive team, the Timberwolves. It'd be Pelicans Rockets? Don't sleep on the Pelicans. But I, I do think the Rockets will win that series. But if cut yeah, I was gonna say if Cousins was healthy, oh boy. Oh boy. Patrick Beverly Clippers to 99. I don't think it's a sweep, though. It might be a gentleman sweep. Yes. 
I can't wait for the playoffs. Playoffs are going to be fun this year, man. Damari Carroll, the Nets. That's the 79. Why are, like, these sleeves coming up like this? So, two-card arsenal, let me ask you something. Is there any team in the West Coast that you're afraid of as a Rockets fan? And, and I like to think that you're an unbiased fan. Dwayne Bacon on card auto for the Hornets right there. The wall aside from the Warriors. Do the Jazz do the Jazz strike any fear in your heart? They should. They should. Boom. Really? No other team scares you aside from the Warriors. Not even the Thunder? I don't know, man. The jet. Listen, don't sleep on the Jazz. Don't sleep on the Jazz, man. They're a grinded out team. They slow it down. And two card Arsenal, you forget the Rockets play zero defense. Demontis a bonus of the Pacers to one ninety nine. You know, there's a there's a great saying in basketball: you live by the three, you die by the three. And the Rockets have been on life support all year with the three. I don't know. I don't know. Raptors to 175. That is Norman Powell. Rockets are averaging 120 points. I'm going to tell you something right now. That average is going to drop down from 120 to the 9100 range. Chris Paul is going to take over in the playoffs. <laughs> Said nobody ever. Hey, uh, Tucker Arsenal, you want to know how many times Chris Paul has gotten out of the second round? I'll give you three guesses. Damian Dotson of the Knicks, number to 49. Chris Paul will take over in the play. I just hope James Harden actually plays in the playoffs because he laid a goose egg last year. I know you're going to say, oh, that was last year, bro. This year is this year. I don't know, man. All right, two-card arsenal. Chris Paul's been banged up all year, too. He's, he's not a young buck anymore. He's not a young buck. Rockets. It should be an entertaining playoff. But two card arsenal. I just hope I don't have to say I told you so. I just I hope that's not the case, man. I, I hate I hate telling that to people. I told you so. No, I, I don't I don't want to say that. Let's see, what are the standings? conference so the east Miami's in the sixth seed which means we would play Cleveland that would probably be a six seven game series and I gotta go with my team I gotta go with the heat I got to I just got to although I would not be surprised if the Cavs beat us uh, the one eight seed would be Houston New Orleans I'll give that to the Rockets only because Boogie's not playing which means the one and the eight would play the winner of the four and the five, which is either Utah or San Antonio. Oof. Oof. Hey, two-card arsenal. You want a prediction here, dog? I predict the Rockets won't even make it past the second round. The Chris Paul curse continues. Bro. Don't forget about Coach Popovich, two-card arsenal. I know you're saying Spurs, no way. They don't have Kawhi Leonard, blah, 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 blah. They still got Coach Pop and that immaculate system out there. Fear the beard? No, thank you. 
You want to hear something that you have probably never heard? Two card arsenal? And I can't believe I'm saying this, but James Harden is overrated. Great offensive player. He can't even defend a cold on defense. He could take all the vitamin C he wants. Can't, can't even can't even do that. He can't. He could be on an IV antibiotics and he'll still catch that cold. But I, you know, I think James Harden is overall an overrated. Overall overrated. You can't claim yourself to be an MVP and you can't play defense. I'm waiting for the playoffs, man. I'm waiting for the playoffs. And if the if the Rockets can't make it past the second round, two card Arsenal, I'm gonna give you that look, dog. You know what look I'm talking about. For the Pacers, TJ Leaf, the Raider rookie autograph. All right, I'm gonna need this thing. I'm gonna need this thing to start heating up like now. A two card Arsenal. I know the Heat never beat the Rockets. But uh, you and I both know that you were probably a little, a little, a little antsy when the Rockets were playing the Heat. If the Heat can do that to the Rockets, imagine what a great team can do. For the Suns to ninety-nine, right there, Devin Booker. Yeah, it's it's been very, very, very scary, booty. Trying to heat this thing up. Trevor Booker of the Sixers to 189. Well, I mean, if we bounce, if we're bounced in the first round, it would be because of the the Cavaliers. No shame in, in losing to LeBronathan. But see, the Rockets are playing with a different different mentality. You know what I mean? The Rockets are championship or bust. You know, it's not even Western Conference Finals. No, like they need to get to the finals and win a championship. Otherwise, their season was a fail. The Heat making the playoffs without Deion Waiters, Hassan Whiteside missing like 30 games. The fact that we made it to the playoffs, that's a success. You know, we're, we're a team that's in, in the rebuilding stages. Wayne Southern to 175. For degrees, you know. So if we lose in the first round, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Cause I think we could beat any team in the East. But Rockets championship or bust. Dwight Howard to 99 Hornets. I don't know, two card Arsenal. I don't know. You can't sit there and tell me that those two games against the Heat this year weren't tight. And please keep in mind, we don't have a superstar on our team. You know why uh, Clutch City was winning championships back in 94, 95? Well, for one, Michael Jordan retired. And for two, they had arguably the greatest defender in NBA history. Hakeem, the Dream, Olajuwon. You know what those teams were all about? Defense. Now, of course, I can't compare that team to this team. But this team does not play defense. You cannot win a championship like that. Oh, is that a super in there? That might be a super. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to agree with you, Kanko Main. It's the Warriors the Warriors world and everyone else is just trying to get a nut. Oh, if that's if that's the case too, Kurt Arsenal, then yeah. I'm just, listen, I'm just I'm just trying to get you prepared for what's about to happen to Kurt Arsenal. I, dude, I hope they don't run into that jazz buzzsaw. If the bro, if the Jazz make it to the conference finals, that would be insane. Not gonna happen. But that would be insane. You know what? As far as the Warriors, like, listen, I'm not rooting. A, I'm not rooting against the Rockets. I'm just cautious of them. Like, I'm not. I'm not buying what everybody's selling. You know what I mean? With that being said, I hope the Rockets give the Warriors a run for the money because I'm tired of seeing the Warriors win all the damn time. Oh man, I can't wait for the playoffs to start. Will Curry return to form after his injury? I don't think. I think so. I, I don't think. I can tell you right now, I, can, I guarantee you that guy's still putting up shots. Even with that, with his bum ankle, or I think that's what's messing him up right now, his ankle. You think LeBron gets another ring this year? Not with that Cavs team, dog. Not with that Cavs team. I'm telling you right now, championship is coming out the West. There is no team in the East that can match up with the Rockets or the Warriors. Including my Heat. Although, you know, I gotta say, it's the Heat though. You know what I'm saying? Alright, anyway. Can we get some hotness here, please? Jonathan Simmons, red to 99 for the Magic. I don't know, man. I don't think that Cavaliers team has what it takes. They're barely a team. Al Farouk to 175 for the Blazers. Oh, I think the Cavaliers can for sure at least make the, the finals. Uh, but I don't think they're going to win a championship. I, I don't think they have enough firepower to get there. Uh, for the Suns, Devin Booker. That is number 299. Uh, the number one draft pick, I like, listen, there's a couple kids that I like. There's two that I have my eye on. There's the kid out of, uh, I think he went to Duke. I'm, I might be mistaken. Malcolm, uh, damn, what's his name? Bagley, Michael Bagley or something like that, however it's pronounced. And then there's that kid from Alabama, Sexton. Oh, man. That kid is a beast. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, well, there's a one-on-one -on -one mojo for the Mavericks, a super fractor, Harrison Barnes. There you go, Kanko Main. A little something-something for you. A little one-on-one -on -one mojo, a little super action. Would have been even better if that was Dennis Smith. But a little something, something. Right. What else we got? Well, that's true. To I mean, we can't compare Michael Jordan to LeBron. You know, they played in different eras. They you know different people, different positions. George Hill of the Kings to 199. What else we got? There's that. What about Trey Young? Is anybody buying Trey Young uh, stock? Because I'm selling that. 
I, I, I don't think... Uh, I think Trey Young should stay in college at least one more year. Because once, once teams started double, triple teaming him or really paying more attention to him, he started playing like booty. I feel like he needs to stay at least one more year in college, get some more, get some more knowledge in him, you know, hit that weight room, improve his game, become a better baller, and then get into the draft. But no, nowadays kids just want to get into the league. I, I think Trey Young will get drafted. I just I don't think it's I don't think it's time yet though. I think he should still stay in college. Luka from Slovenia. I might have to look that up. You know, there's people coming out of out of Europe now that are just filthy disgusting. Like that, bro. Porz who who could have predicted Porzingis was gonna be like the second coming of Dirk Nowitzki or some shit? When the Knicks drafted him, bro, I, Knicks fans worldwide were like, I'm um, almost caught caught an aneurysm. And then they saw the unicorn play, and they switched that tune real quick. Bro, could you imagine that, Alex? Because Trey Young's favorite player is Steph Curry, and he kind of models, models his game after Steph Curry. His words, not mine. So that would be insane if the Warriors drafted Trey Young, and then just had you know just had him learn under the the man, the myth, the legend. See what we got here. We need some big books, no whammies. Come on now. What is this? There's the Spurs autograph for Derek White, the rated rookie on card auto. Uh, James, no. After this is done, I got to do a half caser of this exact product for eBay because right now I'm doing a store break. Uh, so after this, I'm going to do the eBay break. And then after that, I'll do the flawless break. You know, we filled this break before uh, it was time for the eBay stuff. So we had to knock this out first. Clay Thompson of the Warriors to 49. Clay Thompson is going to be crucial in the playoffs. There's another Yasova of the Hawks to 175. And they still got that. They still got that boy KD. People seem to forget that. You know, it's oh Steph Curry, Steph Curry, bro. You forgot KD played for him too. Ryan Anderson of the Rockets. That's the seventy-nine. What do we got? A Jason Tatum model would be nice. Josh Jackson of the Suns, number to 199. Uh, did I go through this already? I feel like I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. All right, now I'm almost certainly confident that I. Yep, no, yeah, I did. Okay. See what I got here in this stack, which I did not go through. Paul George of the Thunder. The Thunder are one of those teams that, like, when they're on, I don't think there's a team that could beat them in the league. But they're so inconsistent.
The Timberwolves are like another team that like low key, if they had their shit together, that could be a scary team. Carl Anthony Towns, Andrew Wiggins, Jeff Teague, Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Buckets. Do NBA team owners have a say of who gets on there? Of course they do. They sign the checks, Devin. Oh, shit. Butler's out for the season? Well, I'm just, I mean, I'm saying, I'm just talking shit. You know, the Mavericks could have been, I'm sorry, the Timberwolves could have been nasty. What's surprising me is the fact that they got Coach Thibodeau out there, and they don't seem to put, they don't seem to like lock in defensively. They were third, and right now, like I don't even think they're in the playoffs. I got three boxes left of this full caser. And then after that, I'm going to do the half caser for eBay. And after that, the flawless case for eBay. Luke Walton. You like Luke Walton as a coach? Uh, not yet, uh, Nicholas. Not yet. What about someone like... Ooh, another black one in there. What about, what about somebody like, uh, when I, he's not really a run and gun kind of guy. He's more of a grind it out kind of guy. Um, used to coach the Grizzlies. Like, he got fired earlier this year on some BS. I got you two-card arsenal. As long as you don't clear the chat, I got the, I mean, I got the links right there waiting for me. Yeah, there it is, Coach Fizz. I think Coach Fizz to me is like a player's kind of coach. But he comes from that, that Miami Heat cloth where, you know, he's a grinded out kind of dude. Holds everyone accountable. But at the same time, it's cool as fuck. I think him and, him with the Timberwolves, they could make some moves, man. Cause I think Coach Tibbs might be uh might be might be a little too I don't know a little too much. Jared Allen of the Nets right there. Somebody wanted an, an Allen. There you go. Nets getting a hit. It's time for a hot box. It's time for a hot box here. Jamal Murray, Nuggets Red to ninety-nine. What the hell is this? Paul Westfall of the Suns. That's number to one seventy-five. I got three left, uh Kanko Main, three left. I got Willie Hernan Gomez of the Knicks. Number to 199. Need something huge here. Doug McDermott, Knicks. Number to 79. God, these cards are so slick. Oh. <laughs> 
to 39, J.R. Smith with the black velocity variation. I got quotables for days, Kanko Main. Starting with Kanko Main. That's like the original quotable right there. That's a nice looking card. All right, what else we got? Jared Allen in the Nets. That's numbered to 175. All right. Three boxes left. I need a hot box. I'm no longer asking for one. I'm demanding it. Come on, Abraham. Heat this thing up. All right, I got two boxes left after this one. You also got that Harrison Barnes Super Fractor Kinkle Main. I don't know if you want to get rid of that. There you go, David. I need the Lakers to hit big time. I need the Celtics to hit big time. I need the Jazz and the Mavs to hit big time. Come on now. Come on, big teams. Let's go. For the Super, can't me? Pappy, you're not a help. You're not helping right now. You're not. You're not helping. You are not helping right now. How about telling people how great it is, and then they're gonna be like, "Oh shit, maybe I should get into that." Because Pappy was like all all, all about it. I think I see you up with all this black in there. <laughs> I need to say something. Well, I mean, uh, I think that the deal with Harrison Barnes was... You know, he had that finals performance uh, the year they lost to the to the Cavs where he was just, like, just terrible. Well, Chamberlain to 99 for the Lakers. That's pretty insane. Mavericks got some nice, nice, nice things going there. Speaking of the Mavericks, Wesley Matthews with the black... Uh, What's what's that called again? The velocity variation to thirty nine. There you go, Pappy. That's 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 what I'm talking about. That's what the people want to hear. That's what they want to hear. Better than my first pair of tits. What? Everybody remembers when they seen their first pair of tits. And I don't mean your mom's. 
It was a fucking great time. Lou Williams of the Clippers. That's number to 189. The Celtics. Dang it. I need a Tatum. Gershon Yabuselli. Autograph for the Celtics. Uh, the rated rookies, Chrome. You mean, are they refracting? No, not, not, not any of these. They're all base rated rookie autos. So far, anyway. Zach Collins of the Blazers, red. Less than 99. Yeah, well, that's because that that's because that guy's been uh, I don't know how many I don't know how many cases that guy's gone through. Courtney Lee of the Knicks to one seventy five for the Knicks right there. All right, got two boxes left. The Lakers and the Spurs in a tight game right now. That's kind of funny. All right, Abraham, you have not been doing your do your job. Two boxes left. I'm opening up one right now. Need one of these to be a hot box. Because right now, this case has been a bit of a... I'm trying cash money. I'm trying. I need greatness to happen here for somebody. Um. Pull up my water. Alonzo Cobiato would be crazy. At this point, that's kind of what we need to make up for how crappy this case has been. A couple good hits, you know, the Fultz and the Harrison Barnes super, but that aside, hasn't been the greatest. All the rated rookie autos have been based so far, no color on those. That's what I'm talking about, Pappy. Peer pressure is the best pressure. Here we got in the second to last box, box number 11. Wow, Kanko Main, are you watching? Kanko Main, are you watching? What up, dog? Okay, that's the that. or, that's that an original, that's the OG Dragon Knight, son. Just pulled it. Hey, -o. 95. Damn. Isn't that nice? Dude, I haven't seen one of these since I stole it from back in the day. <laughs> Holy it's, it's shit. It's the most desirable card from that set. That's 
Muy bueno. Backfresh. Hey yo! That's 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 what I used to collect in my childhood. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking nice as fuck. Fantastic. Jesus Christ. All right, we got LeBron James of the Cavaliers. That's number to 199. Main. I hope you're sitting down or something. Because Pete. A Donovan Mitchell rated rookie signature. Card number 188. It looks like it's just a base rated rookie signature, but it's Donovan Mitchell. And it's jazz. And you own the jazz, so that means this is yours. That's a nice card. That's a nice card. About goddamn time. All right. Clippers to 175. Now I need a Tatum and I need a Kobe Auto. Still waiting on that hot box. I thought it was one per case. What up, Silverman? How you be? Avery Bradley of the Pistons. I don't think so, Tomas. I mean, there's been a few Carmelo Anthony like parallels, but I, uh, as far as autographs, I don't, I don't know yet. Avery Bradley Pistons. So I'll do the recap in a bit, but I don't recall any Nick autographs actually. Emmanuel Moody and Nuggets red, and now finally, it's time for the last box mojo. Uh, my boy Mario just pulled that Dragonite out of a break that he was doing over on Pokemon Breaks. Let me see. Actually, yeah, the Knicks did hit an autograph. Kenny Skywalker. You got the Super Fractor, you got the Mitchell, and you also had the, uh, what else did you got? You got the Stephen Curry to five. I mean, I'm sure that'll go for some buck, some some ducats, numbered one out of five. eBay 101 Mojo. we got here last box mojo and i hope it's hot especially if you have a hit it's time for you to get some niceness i hope got kanko man is happy let's see if we can make some other folks happy so i know we're doing basketball but to transition to, to baseball real quick, you guys think uh, Otani, uh, you guys you, you guys buying or selling uh, Otani? Flawless came out already, to, uh, Jason. It's out today. It came out today. Well, I, actually, today is Thursday, but it came out Wednesday. It's already in the store. It's on our, it's on our website. Check it out, baby. Damn, Pappy, that sounds like the title of a video I need to watch. You're selling Otani? As you should be. Because that guy right now is balling. He's been good so far, Alex. He hit his second dinger today. Off Corey Kluber, no less. Uh, a Cy Young winner. Which means he ain't no scrub. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. You know what I'm saying? Sitting on the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me? Oh, hell no. Because I don't want no scrub. 
Anybody remember the, the dude remix? It's I don't want no pigeon. I forget how it goes though. I don't want no pigeon. R.I.P. Left Eye. Alright, I need some mojo to come out of here. The rare, rare dual appearance for the man, the myth, the legend. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Boom. Last box mojo. Good luck, everybody. Alright, what do we got? We have Dwayne Bacon. That's like the second Dwayne Bacon in this thing. Dwayne Bacon Hornets. Raider rookie auto. Let's see if this is a hot box, though. I'm hoping it is. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Marcus Morris of the Celtics to 199. Andrew Wiggins of the Timberwolves, number to 49. What else we got? Come on, another auto. That's different. Jabari, I feel like that's, I don't think I've seen that before. Not in this one. Uh, Jabari Parker uh, of the Bucks there. Well, there are some Raider rookie refractors, but no autos on them. DeMar DeRozan of the Raptors. That's number to 49. Alonzo Kobe auto, maybe? Possibly? Come on! Jason Tatum hasn't come out to play. And I think I went through this already. Yeah, I did. Which means last tech mojo right here. Good luck, everybody. Devin Booker Suns red, which means that's number 299. Come on. Malcolm Delaney, Hawks, that's number to 175. And I think that's it for the break. Yes, it is. Damn. For all you guys that didn't get a hit, man, I'm sorry. But that's why we do what we do. It's all a gamble, baby. So let's recap this thing. So we had a Donovan Mitchell rated rookie signature for the Jazz. A Raider Rookie Signature of the Warriors, Jordan Bell. There was a Stephen Curry, 1 out of 5 for the Warriors. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Dwayne Bacon Hornets. Gershon Yabaselli Celtics. Jared Allen Nets. Derek White Spurs. TJ Leaf Pacers. Dwayne Bacon Hornets. Uh, Skywalker. Knicks. Jawan Evans Clippers. Markel Fultz, Sixers, and Harrison Barnes, Super Fractor for the Mavericks. And that, my friends, was a full case break of Donner's Optic Basketball PYT number one. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.